Are you Emily? I am. Want this? Anna. Followed by George Baffron. Hello, my name is Emily Taylor. I'm the Cambridge resident at 37 Benno Street. I have worked for Upper West for 2.5 years, and in that time I have personally witnessed Kim and Xavier fighting tirelessly against the corruption, harassment, intimidation, favoritism, and abuses of power shown by the Cambridge Licensing Commission and other city officials. As a Cambridge resident, taxpayer, and small business owner, I find the behavior of this commission appalling and frankly frightening. The idea that city officials believe they have the right to walk into our businesses during service hours and make claims in front of our patrons that we are breaking laws and regulations that don't exist is terrifying to me and it should be to all of you here. The idea that they can then bring us up on disciplinary charges against our license and accuse us of criminal behavior including threatening a city official because we simply dare to question their harassment of us is equally terrifying. And that is just a small sample of the sort of behavior we're dealing with. They walked into our business at 7 p.m. on Friday and told us and us and our patrons that we are breaking a law that we were never informed of and which still to this day the public has no clear documentation of. How are we supposed to be in compliance with laws that don't exist? Kim Courtney knows the laws and regulations of this city and commonwealth like the back of her hand because she has been forced to become an expert on them in order to defend her livelihood against a rogue licensing commission. She has done so at great expense of that livelihood. Not everyone has that skill, time, or resources to devote to the defense of their business. Consider, if you will, how much has been lost to the people of Cambridge simply because other small business owners were not able to defend themselves as we have. Right now, I should be at work, making bread to feed our hungry patrons, but instead I'm standing here trying to defend our ability to be in business. Every restaurant owner in Cambridge owes a great debt of gratitude to these two people for fighting on their behalf. For five years, all they have gotten in return for that fight is harassment, denial, intimidation, and to be previously ignored by this council until today. We are supposed to be the People's Republic. How can we claim to be an example of progressive politics and policy? a hub of innovation and diversity. How can we claim to be, quote, integrating businesses of all sizes into a thriving ecosystem when the people who control that integration are corrupt, biased, ignorant bullies who have apparently forgotten their responsibility to be impartial? I stand with Councillor Zonderman to demand an apology from my friends and colleagues for this treatment. And I demand that all charges against them be dropped, and I demand that the city manager immediately investigate the Cambridge Licensing Commission. Thank you. Taylor, if you haven't already, please help me down right now. Perfect. Uh. Hi, my name is Eleanor Actipas. I live at 1 Winnemore Avenue in Cambridge. Um, I'm a North Cambridge resident who has been following the Upper West situation with dismay and unease, and I'm here in strong support policy order 25, which is long overdue. Upper West is the most delightful business to have within walking distance of this quiet part of town. I love the food, the drinks, and the camaraderie. I go there, and I feel like I'm in another world. It's it's cozy, it's atmospheric, there's nothing else like it. We are so lucky to have this business on a quiet stretch of Mass Avenue. Given that, I cannot believe the continual hand-fisted harassment this small business has faced at the hands of the police, the fire department, and the licensing commission. I'm a super busy professional and parent, but this whole debacle is getting me involved in politics because injustice rubs me the wrong way. I love Cambridge, and I'm not going to stand by while there's such clear-cut persecution and sliminess. It's a small business. Isn't that hard enough? Can you cut them a break? How is this going on still, even after all the negative publicity? Where is the animosity from? Wouldn't it be easier to lay off, and don't you have bigger fish to fry than bullying a small business? I would expect this business in a corrupt third world country, but in Cambridge Mass? Wow. If this corruption is so easy to spot, what else is going on behind the scenes that I don't know about? Questions. I have questions. Your citizens are watching you. In fact, I was there at a meeting for their denied licensing application this week and saw it was a foregone conclusion for it to be denied. Chair Fair had a lengthy decision written out in advance and due process was not followed there or anyone else, or anywhere else for that matter. And spreading the word to friends and neighbors who are also shocked to hear about this. There is a bright light in all this, and not can the light dear me know that's retroactively illegal. And thank you to Councillor Zonderman for taking a stand against this insanity. I will not stop fighting for a better run Cambridge. Please pass policy order number 25. I look forward to hearing a full report in a conference. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Lauren Siegel, followed by Sarah Gallup.
to, quote, an impartial interpretation and faithful execution of the law, and the right to reform, alter, or totally change the government when it fails them. Here we are four years later, with a new city manager, new license commissioners, new police commissioner, new acting fire chief, and four new city councilors. And yet the situation is just getting worse for residents and businesses in Cambridge. I expect more from my city council and hope that you vote unanimously in favor of this order and in favor of um, the Cambridge that the people expect and deserve. Thank you. Thank you. If you could leave those, that would be great. Xavier Dietrich, followed by Jim Danilla. Good evening. Uh, my name is Xavier Dietrich and I am a Cambridge resident and an owner of Upper West at One Cedar Street. I am here to speak in favor of policy 25. On February 6, 2019, the Cambridge Board of License Commission voted to deny the application for a Section 15 package or a license near the Upper West. The Commission concluded in its decision that, quote, the Board found no public need for the, for the license at this location. In addition, the Board found, quote, the type of operation a small specialty food store with some old world wines and lots of craft beers would not serve the common food or need. Here are some of the comments from the public in support of Upper West application that were considered by the commission in denying the license. These comments directly conflict with the board's findings. Sean W. writes, the area could really, be, could really use this. Aaron H. North Cambridge is in need of more food and beverage options, especially for local business owners. Brian H., I believe the Upper West team will curate a selection different than what is currently available in North Cambridge. Eleanor A. writes, this would be a fantastic addition to the North Cambridge neighborhood where there is a lack of this type of offering. Keep in mind that the um, Board of License Commission found no public need. Alex H., a specialty beer and wine store would add to our neighborhood. It would allow us to shop for these items without getting in the car. Susan C., I support their application there. They are very responsible in this area of could use quality selection. I am sure they will offer it. Karen S., the neighborhood appreciates it needs more opportunities to experience unique approaches to food and drink. Michelle D., I support Upper West in their quest to continue to bring unmet needs to our neighborhood. They have been such a great addition to our neighborhood. Tim R., I live down the street from Upper West. The two package stores nearby do not have a great selection of craft beer. Elise S., the far end of Mass Ave could use more shops. From Cameron Street to Route 16, more development, development is needed. Upper West has been a lovely addition to the neighborhood. Betty D., North Cambridge has a quantity of specialty food and spirit stores. Signing a package store license to support a mom and pop restaurant makes enormous sense. Melissa F., there are no other specialty stores nearby, and encouraging small business with new products is exactly what the city should support. So I just want to remind you that the King's Court of License Commission has found no public need. Matthew G., I look forward to having a quality selection of liquor in the Charles Square area. Most of the time, I need to go to Davis Square for a wider range of products. Courtney B., Upper West has provided a wonderful neighborhood establishment from the day they opened their doors. This would allow them to expand their offerings and provide something which is currently unavailable in North Cambridge. It's time, so I'm not going to do the rest. Um, so there's, there's plenty more here. And uh, I just want to make sure that the uh, council is aware that all of these comments were made by registered Cambridge voters who live in the 02140 zip code. Thank you. And you can please leave that. Um,